What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I am in a good mood today, so I wanna do something special for you guys. We just uploaded a list of like 10 or 12 something new video tutorials when it comes to funnel design and beautiful images that makes your pages look more beautiful and convert better because they communicate professionalism and the value they offer has. And so what I wanna do is because you're here, because you subscribe, because you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm, I wanna give you a free tutorial from this module. And if you wanna join the full course, link is in the description. But if you don't want and you can't, no hard feelings, I still want you to, to get these videos for free. So uh, Anton, if you could just show an image here with everything that's included in the module, and we're gonna pick one that's uh, pretty amazing and we're just gonna roll that now. So first, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and here's the tutorial. So hope you enjoy. Right, so in this video I wanna show you kind of the different graphics that I've created for a funnel of mine. And hopefully it will give you a little bit of inspiration on how you can design different graphics and to make them stand out. So I got everything from like frameworks to, uh, you can see these laptop mockups to icons, to custom graphics, to more conversational graphics. Meaning this graphic is communicating something. This one is communicating something else. And this one, something else like five out of five and five stars, you can probably tell already where that graphic would be going. It would be a headline that talks about results and happy customers. Now this one would probably be around getting clients, right? You can even see that I tried adding different arrows and I think I went with the one without arrows, but you can still see kind of how I've tested out different things and then picked one of them when I launched. So let me just show you how I created some of these. We'll start here at the top. So when it comes to testimonials, there's obviously a different, you know, a couple of different ways that you can do this. But one of them is you can come up with text, take you know whatever the person said in a video or written testimonial and just type it out. Then the way that you would get this is, right, if I just make this one a little bit bigger. Uh, if I start with this, which I can obviously just upload or insert here, it would be an image just like this, right? I have a circle and I can add it to the mask in there. I can then click R and create this box. There it is. Border, I'll fill it. I'll just make it white. Radius set to 10. I will add a shadow to it. Blur it to 30, Y down to 10, change opacity to 10. Now I would then need a headline, so I would click T and I would start creating the headline, so that would be extra bold. Then I would have the actual testimonial, make that one lighter and smaller. I would then import a a graphic like this, right? Or, yeah, this is just done here. So sometimes I import an image and then I click fill. This is just, you know, with the text. These are things that are super easy to do, right? Uh, you just have to play around. In all honesty, I think what it really comes down to is you have to first see what you're gonna build before you start building. Meaning you'll, you'll have to find inspiration first before you start building something. I think that's really the key to get beautiful designs is knowing when you open, like here's the design that I wanna build because I saw it on you know, Pinterest or whatever. I saw it on this funnel and that sort of stuff. So you can already see how I'm creating that one. This one is just different images. So you can see here, different types of screenshots. I just align them all so it looks good. And then I mark everything and I can either add a shadow here or I can first group it and then add a shadow to all these images. So I could do something like this, boom. And now I could export it and use in my funnel. These ones, I have a rectangle, right? So I have the rectangle with radius image masked on top of it. I've added these. You can see what they actually look like. So this is the image, it's just, you know, 
It's a little graphic and what I've done is added gradient to it. You can obviously go in here and change the different colors. And then, you know, once you're happy with it, you could then just move it to the place where you want to use it. I have another one here and then all of these are screenshots and what you can do with, with a screenshot is this. So I'll grab one of these and I will just double click it. Boom. I'll choose the area that I want to use. I crop it. I can add a shadow to it. And there we go. I'll then just move it to wherever I want to use it. So I can also create these myself by you know, adding a rectangle, change the background color, the text, add an arrow. Really what it comes down to is like having one main image and then adding different elements. So like you just click insert uh, image and add an arrow for an example, or add a line, like an underline or an image of five stars. And the way you, you find all of these is you just go to Google and type in like five star PNG transparent, you know? or like money back guarantee PNG transparent. So this one will take a look and see what this is. This is an image of the five stars. It's a text that says five out of five and it's a rectangle that I've set to gradient. So if I change it, you can see kind of how that looks. And I've also done the same thing here with these dots on Google, found the dots PNG transparent, added a fill to it. And then, you know, I can, use it with my images. One thing to keep in mind with these is a lot of people like to do this. They love doing this and it doesn't look good. It just doesn't because it takes away too much focus from the main image. The main image is trying to say, as you're building stuff, you're getting results five out of five star reviews. So this should be subtle. It's like if I had something like this, for an example, let's move this around a little bit get a custom graphic, a blob. I would do something like this and I wanted to use this. I wouldn't make it like this, right? Because it would take away too much focus. I would make it something like, like this, you know, so it's there, but you know, the main focus is on this thing. So anyways, uh, hopefully that helps as well. Let's go to icons. Cause I know I have some examples of that as well. We're going to zoom in here. Basically how I created these is it's just a rectangle with a text on and a text behind it. So uh, I, I like to use these a lot because I can type in one. I can make it a little bit smaller. I could use it behind um, that image because of opacity. So it's subtle, but it's still there and it adds that, that little touch to it. So when it comes to these, for an example, you can again, just look at what people have designed and you can do something like this, for an example, let's say you want to use this, you want to change this up a little bit. So you have the same, just make it smaller and you would create your own graphic. Once it's done, you can, okay, I wanted something like that, group it. And then once it's grouped, you can, you know, change it however you want. So by the way, if you ever want to, you know, redesign an entire image or fill an image like this, you can't do that once it's grouped because it's three images or three rectangles that were created. So instead, what you could do is just export this and then import it because then it's one image and then you could click fill and you could have a gradient from this side to this and all that. So that's just a, a side note, which I think is important. All of this you could add by literally going rectangle right there, color to something like that, and then backwards. So it's, it's right there. What else do we have in here? This one, for an example, the way I've created this is I've added a combination of different mockups. We have one, two, three. This is from Canva. We have a circle, we have a text, and then we have a, te a logo actually, or a text. Then we have something that covers the background right there. And we have the dashboard of the software. So again, I've just pieced all of these together. So I get this one nice graphic and then I download it such as. Same thing with this graphic, dots, 
This is a rectangle that is just using borders. This one is a circle. The main one is a mockup from smartmockups.com. I have everything together. Boom, I just group it and I export it like a picture. So the last thing that I want to mention is make sure that your design is communicating something. So if this is a bundle, do this. You know, if it's a framework or a blueprint or a process, you can do something like this. You can also do, you know, if it's a three step process to this, you can do like one, two, three, make these smaller and, and you know, make the headline sell the thing, the sell the process. And then these just show visually what, what it would look like. So hopefully that is helpful. I will keep uploading more tips and tricks on how to get a beautiful design. But hopefully this give you a little bit of inspiration as to how you can create your own design. So with that said, I'll see you in the next video.